How are you doing? This is Mabbi from tarotically-speaking.com, my blog where I talk about all the things that I have learned from and about the tarot cards, where I also review decks and books about tarot. And through this uh, YouTube channel, I make videos about tarot and I've also written a book and there's a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, the links are in the description. So if you want, you can totally check it out. Uh, this right here is my monthly prediction video where I take, uh, you know, the guidance from the cards for each of the 12 signs. Now, I've grouped them by element. So you have earth, air, water, fire, right? And uh, so that, that makes for smaller videos <laughs> easier for me to process. Uh, and for this particular month, for the month of March 2019, I'm going to be using these two lovely decks in combination, the Tarot of Delphi and the Under the Roses Lenormand deck. Now, um, just a quick reminder in order to get the best of this video or, you know, this whole series of videos that I'll be publishing, I recommend that you look, uh, you know, for your sun sign and then you look also for your moon sign if you know it. And if you know your moon sign, then you probably also know your ascendant or rising sign. Then look for that as well and combine the meanings of all three so that you get as close to, uh, you know, personal kind of a prediction for yourself. OK, this is basically going to tell you how the month of March 2019 will sort of shape up for you. All right. OK, then without any further ado, let's just get right into the video. Then. All right. So the uh, these are the cards that I'm going to be pulling for the fire signs, which are Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. OK, uh, so first up, let's do this one by one, right? Aries. Aries for March 2019. Okay, here we go. This is the Justice card reverse, and that is paired with the Lady and the Garden. All right. This is going to be pretty interesting, Aries. Your month of March is going to be very, very interesting. Check this out. This is the Justice card. Right. Justice talks about decisions. Justice talks about balance. Justice talks about being fair. Justice talks about, uh, you know, ultimately finding uh, the difference between right and wrong. Justice talks about taking action upon all that you have deliberated upon for all this while. What happens when this card becomes reversed, though, is that you are not being fair or either you will not be dealt with fairly. You will, uh, you know, either procrastinate a lot or you will delay uh, making decisions or you might be in the receiving end of such uh, energy where a decision will be kind of delayed for you, right? Where, especially where you are depending on others. And the reason why I think that is more likely is because you see the lady card showing up. That is a significator card in the Lenormand. And lady means a person, especially a woman, right? So especially if you are a woman and Garden talks about your social circle. Garden talks about your friend circle. Garden talks about your network of friends and, you know, uh, colleagues, peers, all of that. Garden talks basically about the network. So in your network, there you are, right? It's your network, right? And whatever it is, you will be dealt with quite unfairly in this circle. You will be not treated really well and if you you know need some kind of guidance advice help whatever there will be a lot of delay in that coming towards you so aries for the month of march just be sure that the things that are in your control the things that are in your grasp make sure that you do them and the things that are not in your grasp or the, or the situations where the decisions are not in your control in any case, just let them go. If you hang on to them, if you keep pushing and prodding them, it will only 
uh, you know, worsen matters. It will not help matters. You will definitely not receive any uh, help or guidance from your friends and friend circle in this particular situation because, you know, these are both really very neutral cards. So it's like you and in your circle, your circle around you. That's what <laughs> this combination really means. Right? So, you know, it's it's just putting you in a very neutral position where you don't have much control. So just like that, uh, you know, the saying goes, whatever you can change, change it, whatever you can't, just accept it and let it go, right? That's the energy for the month of March for Aries. Okay, next up we have Leo. So Leo, 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 there we go. Okay. Leo gets the Ten of Coins. Nice. And that is paired with Ship and Rider. This is good news, Ra. <laughs> Leo. All right. Ship is all about movement, right? Ship is all about travel. Ship could also be about your car. Rider is the bearer of good news or it is literally good news. So it could be a lot of good news to do with movement so it is also a very traditional sort of a business card which ties in very well with the ten of coins here but the imagery is very different from your traditional ten of coins imagery so i'm kind of you know going to touch upon that in a little bit so if you have a business that you are running leo you will receive some really good news about it and for it uh if it's uh if you have you know if you've been having any decisions to maybe go travel to move uh, you know, so you will receive some information and good news that will help you in that journey or help you in the planning of that journey. If you are thinking of maybe, you know, some there, there might be something to do with your car. Again, a lot of good news. You know, those are the various connotations that come up. But what I'm generally seeing here is that you will receive some really good news that will propel you forward in your life. Uh, you know, like the overall energy is like that. And the Ten of Coins, look at this image. There's a lot of abundance. There's a lot of happiness. There's a lot of satisfaction. Uh, you know, all the material pleasures are here, right? So you will thoroughly enjoy this month in the company of the things and the people and the surroundings and everything that you really enjoy. So this is a, going to be a very very good month for you again even for your business even in terms of money in terms of news leo it's all good march is a good month for you so enjoy <laughs> okay so next up we have sagittarius sagittarius there we go Okay, Sagittarius, you get the three of coins reversed, and that is paired with the locket or the, you know, the heart card and the clouds. Okay, now this is interesting. Three of coins, let me just make this card upright so you can see what the whole point of this three of coins is, right? This particular card talks about planning and step-by-step -step creation, right? You make a plan. You work upon it and you spend time at every tiny detail, you know, working upon it and making it happen. Just like the sculptor has all the plans, you know, there's a bigger picture and then he's working on the smaller part of the picture and all of that going on. So uh, what happens in the reverse is that there might be some hurdles in the execution of the plan or there might be some delays in the execution of the plan there might be some uh issues with uh you know maybe the planning stage or with the execution stage depending on where you're at you might be facing delays in actually even bringing that plan together uh in order to start the process so there's a lot of hurdles and delays especially to do with uh you know making uh, or, or manifesting what you really want to create and you know 
Probably these cards can shed some light. The locket here or the heart card here talks about what's going on in your heart. It talks about your feelings. It talks about your emotions. It talks about what you love. But the clouds come in and they are essentially clouding all of that, right? In the Lenormand, the second card kind of, you know, colors or overshadows in, in, in meaning what the first card says. So had this been the other way around, then the meaning would have been totally different, right? But now the clouds are overshadowing your feelings, the clouds or confusion, right? Clouds could be doubts, clouds could be fears, clouds could even be uncertainty, clouds could even be you know, discord. There's all, all, all sorts of, you know, very cloudy energy around this card. And it literally is overshadowing your feelings, your emotions, what you want to do, what you feel, you know, what you want to, what you love, what you enjoy, what gives you joy. And maybe that is, you know, you're not essentially feeling it. Whatever project you have taken on, right? You're not feeling the joy in that project, whatever things you are, you know, thinking of doing. You're not necessarily, you know, <laughs> the popular uh, saying these days, it's not sparking joy for you. So what I want you to do, especially because with this, with these cards also comes the guidance, right? Go back to the drawing board. Go back to uh, you know, the first initial part where you said, okay, I want to do this. Examine why you said that. Think about it. If you still cannot reconnect with that feeling, like I said, you're already back at the drawing board. Where do you need to make the changes? What changes do you need to uh, bring about? Or maybe you need to scrap this project and start on another project altogether. Think about all these things as this month comes you know goes about and maybe that's where you will actually see the clouds clearing up and clarity shining through for you all right Sagittarius March is going to be one intense month for you so thank you so much for watching my video I really really appreciate it I hope that the reading resonated um, I would really, really appreciate it if you, you know, left a comment in the comment section with your thoughts, with, with your feelings, and maybe come back at the end of the month and talk about your experience if it kind of matched with what you saw. And if you like this video, please definitely give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends on Facebook and all of that. It's nice to kind of see, you know, if, if people like your stuff and, you know, share it, right? Sharing is caring and all that good stuff. And uh, if you want to see me do a card a day reading, I, I do post a card a day reading every day. Uh, on my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram. I pick a new deck every month and I post the reading. So you can totally follow me on those social media sites if you like. So you get a card a day reading and you also get to see a different deck every month. That's, that's you know, multiple things all rolled into one. And yeah, I also publish other videos where I do reviews, where I do uh, you know, where I do spreads and show spread examples and stuff. So do definitely check out my channel. If you like it, subscribe and just subscribe. So, you know, it's, it's, it's awesome. I, I'm, I love my tarot life. <laughs> so, uh, yep, that's pretty much it. And th once again, thank you for watching my video. I will see you again in my next video. Until then, stay good, be good, play with your cards. Bye now.